Hey guys, welcome back to the Geek Box and to another elusive target guide on Hitman World of Assassination. So today we're doing the Food Critic for Year 3 and I will say I've actually, this is the second recording of this I've done. The original one actually got corrupted, hence it's dropping a bit late, but I think you've still got five days to do it, so you can still follow this guide. And I'm going to be showing you three methods. I've had to use the arcade elusive target version. So on the second method, you will notice I use uh, not the actual lethal poison as a tool, but I use a sedative instead, obviously to show you because you can't use lethal poison on the arcade version, which is annoying. But use the same method, you can get a lethal poison kill. So this is going to be three simple methods for taking the target out. So a default method, poison method, and an emetic method as well. So I hope this helps you get the target done. And if you haven't already, unlock the items that are attached to this as well. So let's get into it. So starting us off, we're going to head straight to the left. So we're going to make our way to the underground complex as it's a simple route to take and it takes us straight to where we need to be and it will also give us the disguise that we need. So coming through here, get your pistol out and shoot out this camera and then we're going to just make our way through. So pretty much heading through here, you won't really get spotted, just keep weaving your way through, follow this path and head up the stairs here. So as we get to the top of the stairs, we're going to grab the hammer that's on the other side. Obviously you can use a coin if you prefer, but it makes it easier for me to grab the hammer and open that door and chuck it about here and then pick it back up. This is going to lure the guard in here. So if you chuck it down in that sort of side, it's just easier because you haven't got to drag them as far to hide the body there. So then once he does come through the door finally, we can sneak up behind him with the hammer and we could give him a smack on the head. So boom, down he goes. Then we're going to drag him around here and we're just going to throw him into this closet. So with his body being hidden in here, we're now going to take his outfit so we can freely move up to the area and take his gun as well. It is important to take the gun and then turn back, head to this door head through here be mindful of the two enforcers the person on the front desk and the hotel manager but just carrying on through they shouldn't spot you then head up these stairs and we're here at our target so there's a few things we're going to do here we're going to drop the gun and that's going to get rid of the guard for a bit sometimes they do mess around here a little bit especially that waiter that comes back and forth is a real pain in the backside on this but you will find if the waiter does engage in a conversation with the target when he sat down, you can just simply just walk into the target and it will break it up. So place the coin on the railing here. This is where as well it can be a pain. If you place it here, the waiter sees it instantly for some reason. The second he comes into the area and then you have to mess around with him looking through. Originally I was just going to redo this because it was annoying that it got messed like that but i want to show you obviously it doesn't matter if this happens you can still just proceed as usual once he's walked off same again place the coin down bump into the target to get his attention and then get him to spot the coin now you're going to see what i mean about this waiter being a pain in the ass he doesn't always walk right away so he's taken that coin but that's fine again then he'll walk away so you'll see he does actually do a full walk eventually so all you have to do if that's the case just do it again yeah i just wanted to show you this so you realize that it's not all be end all if it goes wrong on that point again you get to go to the coin when you see it's clear throw a coin downstairs to distract them and then we can push them over the railing everyone's looking at the coin that's bounced in the corner target eliminated obviously body's found straight away but it's an accident kill so doesn't count against your title assassin rating and then we make our way back to the entrance way where we can leave the level so that's a default version done out obviously we just head to the end and pick the exit there so on the next method we're going to be taking the poison tool with us so as i mentioned earlier i'll be taking a sedative but it will be a poison syringe for you and we're going to start off undercover in the hotel security outfit so right away skip the cutscene head through the door straight in front of you and stick to the right hand side of the wall and it's going to take you away from the enforcer enough they won't be able to see who you are and we're going to make our way around and this is going to land us right in where the lobby is so again be careful those enforcers but it's going to allow us to head straight through head across the front loaded before and straight up to our target so you can see this is a pretty quick method for doing this and we're going to use a bit of the same as with the last method take out your pistol and drop it on the floor to remove the guard here 
obviously that's going to get his attention as well because you've literally just dropped it right in front of him and then we're going to do a bit of coin play here now this can vary sometimes you can put it here behind the seat and he will see it perfectly fine other times you might need to put it in the plant pot here i would say if you're going to put it in the plant pot here try and poison him as he walks away from the coin as you'll see i had to resort to if you do it whilst he's looking at it there are people downstairs that may actually see what's going on so again bump the targets we did before if he doesn't see the coin because the placement there behind the chair is blocking it said you can put it here on the plant i say to be fair probably do that first i've used to do it behind the chair but this time it wouldn't work for me but you get his attention and it's long enough that even if the waiter comes in he'll have a nosy he'll walk off then as he's heading back to the chair that's the best time you get him in this spot here where they can't see you downstairs and they can't see you upstairs and then just make your way to the exit obviously at this point it would normally show the exit for you if you've killed the target obviously we've only sedated him because these silly rules they put on this but that helps you get that target done really quick and easy way and then we're going to move on to our last method which is using the good old admetic briefcase trick so see you start off at the normal riverside landing area again so you, this is a suit only setup as well i'll see take a briefcase with the emetic gas mine those that don't know it yet you'll see in the video so starting off at the default location said just run forward so you got this little coverage area here it doesn't make too much difference but remove the emetic device pull it away in your pocket and then replace it back in the briefcase and you'll hear a beep this means you've now turned the briefcase into an emetic mine itself obviously it means you can carry it without it being seen and you can throw it into places without it being too suspicious it is an amazing trick i'm so glad they put this into the game it's one of my absolute favorites but heading towards the target as you see straightforward route now we're just going to throw the briefcase to the target and then once it lands there we're going to switch and activate the mine so that now is just doused in with that emetic so head down the stairs and to the left and to the end and then you're going to be at the toilet it really doesn't take long for the target to get here you just made its way in room i will skip forwards and as you can see once the target arrives we're just going to go with the old-fashioned close the door and drown the method so tried and tested works on 99% of the targets i'd say that you ever come across as long as they're not being followed by a tight security team which i'll see this one isn't so that's him drowned and then we're going to make our way to the exit so that's three simple methods for taking out the target it, it really is one of the easiest elusive targets that is i know there's some people that have complained before saying it's too easy a target but that's how you do it you also do unlock things if you haven't done this before as well so i hope this guide has helped you for those that haven't got this done yet or need a simple method for it anyway thanks for watching guys and as always i will see you all out there